The best day of my life happened when I was five and almost died at Disney World. The thing is, before they pulled me out, everything had seemed made of magic. Like I really believed in this crazy dream. But the minute I came to on that hard, glittery, spray-painted fake snow and saw that marionette boy pulling the same plastic fish out of the hole again and again, I realized it was all a big fake. The realest thing I'd ever experienced was that moment under the water when I almost died. And in a way, I've been dying ever since. That's me, Cameron. Up until a few weeks ago, I was just trying to survive high school, a task I accomplished by listening to laughably bad records and working at my after-school job at Buda Burger. But then I started to see things, weird things, like giant fire monsters and snow globes with real people stuck inside. Turns out I was sick, not just any old sick, like a hospital sick. And after speaking to a million different specialists, I was finally diagnosed with mad cow disease. I know what you're thinking. Mad cow disease? Really? Well, it turns out people can get it too. And it's pretty brutal. It turns your brain from regular old brain to one that looks more like Swiss cheese. And the worst part is, it's fatal. As you can imagine, I was feeling pretty sorry for myself. I mean, who wants to die at 16? But then one night in the hospital, I was visited by an angel. This wasn't just any old angel. She was a punk rock, pink haired, candy obsessed angel, which might have been a hallucination. But regardless, she told me about Dr. X and how if I find the wormhole, I can not only save the world, but save myself. And really, who could resist something like that, especially when it's coming from an angel? I wasn't about to sit in the hospital dying, so I hopped the next bus to New Orleans, where I needed to meet the jazz great, Junior Webster. I didn't make the journey alone. I was joined by my buddy Gonzo, who's a bit of a hypochondriac, not to mention a video game obsessed dwarf. And somewhere along the line, we picked up a garden gnome named Balder. But if you ask him, and yes, he talks a lot. He's really a Viking god. That's where we are now, just three not-so-regular dudes on a road trip trying to save the world. So far, we've ended up at a bowling alley where you can't lose, an MTV spring break in Daytona Beach. Next stop, Disney World. Will we find Dr. X? Will I survive? You gotta read the book to find out. That's Going Bovine by Libba Bray. <laughs>